Hi, Recovery Family. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's recovering well. I hope everybody's healing well. And remember, recovery is not a race. Today we are making Fiesta Lime Cilantro Taco Bowls. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. We're going to use a coleslaw salad kit and we're going to put some taco meat on it. Really simple, really fast, great meal. The Fiesta Lime Cilantro Coleslaw has the best flavor. After I made it, I couldn't believe it. It was popping. All right, everybody, you can follow me on Instagram at Back to the Basics with Holly. You can follow me on Twitter now at RecoveryGirl9. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, everybody, let's get started. Um, I have a pound of 80-20 ground beef. I got it Ralph's, got it on sale as usual. Um, and first thing in the morning, they mark things down. So it is one of the best times if you're on a budget or budget cooking. We're gonna brown up our ground beef here. Wash your hands really good. All right, we're gonna brown, brown this up real good. These are really simple, low cost, fast meals that you can make. Sober living, family, kids favorite. You can make anything into a taco and anything into a burrito. I'm gonna let that cook all the way up. All right, everybody, if you have a bunch of grease on your meat, depending on the fat content, an easy way to get the grease out of it is to get a pair of tongs. You can put this in a strainer and you can rinse it, but the easiest way, easiest cleanup, is to get a paper towel, Bounty, the clicker picker upper, and you just move it through the meat, tilt your pan, And a lot of times, um, the grease clogs up our sink. So you just put these in. They're very durable. Run it through. Easy cleanup. You don't, a lot of people put it in a can, throw it away, run their meat over hot water. But why risk clogging up your sink? When this is fast and easy, you can just run it through really quick like this. You can do this with sausage and bacon. And you can put it in your little container and throw it right away. All right, everybody, the grease is totally drained off. And I have three-fourths cup of water I'm going to put in here with my taco seasoning. You can use any taco seasoning you want. I just use the store brand. But some people like McCormick or the name brand. It's up to you, the lower sodium, the spicier one. All right, I'm gonna let this cook up. We'll let this cook for about two minutes and then we'll get to the rest of our bowl. All right, everybody, our taco meat is all the way done. So it is ready to go in our taco bowl. Um, I was gonna do like a taco salad today. So this is kind of like a deconstructed taco salad taco bowl. I'm gonna use the Slossom kit. It is a Fiesta lime from Dole. And um, the chopped salads are all cabbage pretty much too. So I'm gonna put this in here. This is a little packet that comes with it of cilantro seasoning. It's got a lime dressing. So we're gonna mix that up. And cabbage is really filling and low carb as well. And you can cook your cabbage too, just like the egg roll bowl. 
on my last episode. You can actually cook it without the dressing. We're going to stir this up. But I kind of wanted more of like a taco salad vibe today. So that is all mixed. And we are going to construct our taco bowl. All right, we're all set. So I am going to put some of my coleslaw in my bowl here. It's got great color with that dried cilantro. The freeze-dried spices are really great. Then I'm going to put some of my taco meat on top here. And you can top this with guacamole, sour cream, salsa, pinko de gallo, whatever you want. And when you mix these coleslaws and these chopped salad mixes, they last for like a day and they don't get soggy. That's the great thing about the cabbage salads. All right, so I have that so far. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of um, my avocado on top. Then I'm going to top it with some fresh tomatoes. And I'm all set to go with a really low budget, low carb meal. All right, everybody, stay safe, stay beautiful, stay sober. See you next time.